this time we are going over to the charlotteobserver.com and um, it says in South Carolina meritorial candidate stages kidnapping on Facebook and plot to gain votes South Carolina cops say the article was done by Haley Fowler and um I got the video and everything, y'all. So, this is a candidate in a crowded South Carolina meritorial race is accused of orchestrating an elaborate ruse for sympathy votes using a fake kidnapping on Facebook Live. Sabrina Bletcher, uh, Belcher, was arrested and charged with conspiracy and filing a false police report after Sumter police said she filmed herself being kidnapped and beaten and robbed on Facebook earlier this week. Christopher James Eddy, age 34, was also charged with conspiracy in the case the Sumter Police Department said in a news release. They staged a kidnapping and beating in order to garner public publicity, sympathy, and votes in the November election, police said. Belcher met with officers just before 11.30 p.m. Tuesday and told them she had been assaulted and kidnapped by an unknown man during an attempted robbery, according to the police. She also said that the man had knocked her out, knocked out her windows of her car. Police said Belcher was taken to a nearby hospital for her injuries and was later released. In the video, Belcher had tried to discredit a fellow candidate, according to police. They also said she had ongoing plans to smear other meritorial candidates prior to the election. It wasn't immediately clear how the scheme unraveled, but police said investigators learned Belcher had given a fake name for the man she believed had attacked her. Officers later determined she was in contact with Eddie, whom had worked for worked with her days prior to uh, <clears throat> staging the report incident, said police. Belcho was booked into the Sumter County Detention Center with a ten thousand dollar ten thousand dollar Vaughn, according to the jail records, this was simply an effort to create disorder and dis- discontent in our community for personal gain, Police Chief Russell Roark said in a news release. That's sad. That's, real, that's crazy. Like, why would you do that? Like, that... I don't understand. I don't. You doing? You doing way, 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 way too much for that little bit of you know what I'm saying? And then for you to not get it, you know, it's 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 a bit much. It's it's a it's a bit much. I think like that's. That's too, that's too much, too much. But, um, as a result, oh, shoot, Uh, let's see. It says, as a result of it, police said Betcha was taken to a nearby hospital. Uh, for her injuries and was later released in the video. Yeah, 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 I seen it. This was simply an effort, right, to garner personal 
chiefs for as a result of a valuable number of resources including personnel man hours of the police department as well as local medical professionals were wasted based on a false information something about 45 miles east of columbia is the home of the roughly 40,000 residents current maria mayor joseph t mcel alvin jr was elected in 2000 and there's the sitting mayor um at the city longest serving sitting mayor mcelden announced in january he would not seek re-election uh belcher is one of the six candidates seeking to replace him according to the local newspaper the something item her opponent included two city council members and a controversial self a, a controversial former South Carolina congressional candidate uh, Archie uh, Parnell according to Belcher's campaign page on Facebook she is the first black female candidate to ever run and it if that's true, side note, if that's true, then that's, that makes it even worse, allegedly. If this is true, and this is what they can prove in the court of law. Okay. This is, um, the page describes her as a, a volunteer, a local volunteer, as well as a volunteer firefighter in Sumter County. Her platform includes a bid for 24-7 police presence during school bus hours to help protect our children. If elected, the Sumter item reported she would be the city's first black mayor it's so much more about the race because I have actually lived here long enough to see that there's a lot of difference in justice and things that could be better Betcher told the new, uh, the newspaper in June in the June interview we are learning to come together and we are learning to show that it's not about the color of your skin okay so but I got this video y'all and I just want to say um, I'm going to finish it out with the video but I just want to say like if you got to do all that sis like and then for you to run but something as historic as in, in, in South Carolina you know it's Lord, I just, it's, it's crazy. Like, given the history of South Carolina, South Carolina, North Carolina, all down south, period, you, you do that so they can write this in the history books and you can be known for that, huh? Like, I, I'm hoping that she fights the case and I'm hoping that, uh, this was made in order to discredit her because like if this is true girlfriend like I'm not saying that it is and, and again this is allegedly but <sighs> child I can't let me know what y'all think I just think that it's foolish and crazy and like why would you do that huh but um I guess, honey. Let me know what y'all think, though. You know, uh, tell me how you feel, especially if you're from South Carolina. Um, I would definitely love to hear your opinion on it. By you being a resident um, of South Carolina, uh, have you heard of the story? Is this brand new for you? Let me know. Drop down in the comments. Uh, don't forget to like this video 
And without further ado, the infamous video, y'all. Fucking with my motherfucking people, ah! bitch. Ah! Hmm? The fuck you want? 